Hey, Sean Jantz here, and I'm going to do a quick battle plan for Friday, October 7th. I'm going to do it on Slash GS, which is the S&P 500, and Slash TF, which is the Small Cap 2000. And I'm going to start here on, on um, showing you some news for tomorrow. So this will be a really quick trade plan. And basically, I'm just preparing you for tomorrow's trading day. And you got to be aware of what's going on. So tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, we're going to have the non-farm employment change, which is the second most important news announcement in the stock market. It's only second to the um, FOMC announcement. So this will be a heavy, heavy news announcement tomorrow. And so the reason I'm going to go through this quick is because this number could be kind of weird. Could be a weird act. Could be a weird number and then um, whatever I'm about to show you as far as support resistance I mean everything could be thrown out the window tomorrow based off of this number here so I'm gonna go through this quick I'm just gonna I'm just telling you tomorrow um, don't do anything silly something else to be mindful of there's quite a few FOMC members speaking tomorrow I'm not exactly sure um, that's at four that's at, after the market closes but you know we got FOMC members speaking you know, at the Inter Institute, Institute of International Finance annual membership meeting, right? And so you got all these people talking and everybody's going to be listening. These charts tomorrow can do whatever the heck they want to do, okay? So I'm not about to stand here tonight and tell you exactly what's going to happen because I, based off of the, F, based off of the non-farm and FOMC, I mean, anything could happen, right? But let's just look at this technically, give you, just give you an idea if you do want to trade tomorrow. Slash the ass four hour chart. We're back in the middle, right? We were there last night. We made our move down to range low and then it came right back into the middle. And so obviously, of course, it will eventually break out of this. You know, the, we're basically in like a 65 to 35 range, right? And it'll, somebody's going to win. In my opinion, I think the bears are going to win this range. But, um, this chart for at least for tomorrow has plenty of room to run higher. So that's 60 to 62 and then plenty of room to run lower, which is um, 43 to 41. So now we look at the plot chart. I'm gonna go through this quick, right? We can at least look at some structure trades tomorrow. You'll have value rate high and set right there, right? You'll also have the plus 0.5 deviation and then plus one deviation as well. We got the minus 0.5 deviation is basically almost exactly value rate low. So I do like that, right? You got value rate low and minus 0.5. And then, of course, we got a line in the sand, get through, hold, pull back. Could be off to the races, depending on what FOMC members are saying and depending on what that, um, on what the uh, jobs announcement is. We could be running to minus one deviation tomorrow because there's a lot of structure there, right? So let's just look at this quick. Let's zoom in and try and plan. We're starting smack dab in the middle of value, which is a good thing. Makes it really, really easy to simple to trade. Nothing's easy. Makes it simple to trade. We got sell value very high opportunities there. We also got get through, hold pullback. We could potentially run up to the plus 0.5. Take your profits there. Okay, let me zoom so you can see the plus 0.5. Okay, get through, hold higher lows. Can look to try and spread the plus 0.5. Definitely will be looking for potential sell triggers off of plus 0.5, okay? I got nothing if we get up above plus 0.5, okay? Down to the lows. I got value rate low right there. I also got the minus 0.5 deviation right there. And then my line in the sand to go lower will basically be 21.43. Get through, find lower highs, lower highs. I can look to spread this down to the minus 1 deviation tomorrow and then take my profits. Pretty simple. That's not very easy. Sorry, that's not very hard tomorrow. Uh, we'll just quickly look at slash TF. Same thing as the S. Um, it's literally in the middle. Has plenty of room to run higher, which is the 50, and then you got 35 down there. Okay? And so this chart, same thing as the S. It, it's not that, the structure is pretty great. You got value rate low, September 30 POC, minus 0.5 deviation there. We got the minus one deviation there. So my line in the sand will be right there. Basically, probably 1233 will be my line in the sand there. Back up to the upside, we got a lot of stuff going on from here to here. We got set, value very high, Wednesday's POC, two more POCs from here to here. So could get a little awkward if we go higher, 
But then, of course, we got the plus 0.5 structure right there. And then uh, the plus 1 puts us back at the weekly high there. And so several things to do on ES and TF. Let me zoom in just so we can talk about this quick, right? We're starting smack dab in the middle of value, which is a good thing. We got a great value rate box. Sell triggers there. Get through, hold pullback. Don't forget, you're going to have two POCs right there. So that could get awkward. They held perfectly right there. And I sold that on Tuesday. I remember, I remember vividly selling those two POCs right there. Okay, so that could get awkward. Do not forget that. But if we get up above those POCs and then hold pullback, um, plus 0.5 deviation is sitting there right there for you. Okay, value are you low and minus 0.5 and September 30 POC and you got all of that structure support right there for potential buy triggers. And then my line in the sand is 12, I'll call it 1234. Ah, my line in the sand, get through, hold lower highs potential more lower highs if you can get them and then spread down to the minus one, take profit, call it a week. So don't forget, NFP, everything I just shared with you, these charts can do whatever the heck they wanna do. You can, be, you can throw all this out the window. So comment if you have any, if, if the, throw all of it out the window, if, um, if the jobs report is crazy and if the FOMC members start saying some weird stuff, um, we could potentially see some weird stuff going on. So comment if you have any questions and make sure you're recording everything you're doing and take pictures of all of your trades and post them so that you get feedback from me and from others.